Welcome to Cafe Racer Garage, I am Dan. If you're new here, I build all the different aspects of a motorcycle. If that's something you're interested in, you're in the right place. And I am human, so I do make mistakes, just like you're about to find out in this video. Let's get into it. So in this video, we have two seats to cover, one in vinyl and one in leather. So while I was filming my friend doing the upholstery on these seats, I picked up some valuable things that I wanted to pass on to you. And the first one of those, if you're gonna do this at home, is make sure you make a clear template first and do check marks all the way around the foam and then transfer that onto the clear plastic that you use as your template and then move that onto the material that you use. So do your best to get that template as good as you possibly can. If you haven't decided whether you want to go vinyl or leather yet, here's a couple of things to consider. First up, vinyl is man-made, so therefore the consistency and the color as well as texture is always going to be the same. Vinyl is going to be your cheaper option compared to leather, and you also have a lot of variety of colors when it comes to vinyl. I really do love leather and it is very durable, so therefore it is going to last probably a lot longer, but it does end up getting a little bit cracked and hard over time if you leave it out in the weather. But leather can get quite expensive, especially if you want a specific color, because sometimes if the upholsterer that's doing the work or where you buy your product from may not have that color, so you may have to buy the entire hide and you can't even use the entire hide because some of the edges can be a bit wrinkled or you can have scars, which means that that part is completely unusable. But leather does look and feel amazing. No matter what decision you make when it comes to fabric, you have to make sure you use quality foam because if you use cheap quality foam or really soft foam, Whatever you use is going to get destroyed a lot faster. And that's why I only use the pink foam that I do because it's the perfect density to have a comfortable seat as well as something that's not too soft that's gonna destroy your fabric over time. I actually have three different thicknesses of this foam available on my website for anyone who's interested. So when I first constructed these seat bases, I didn't realize how much of a difference it was going to make by having the fabric wrapping around the bottom section, which actually raised the seat base, leaving a gap in the corner, which I'm just not happy with. So the leather and the vinyl both have the gap and they've been fully upholstered and they look amazing, but unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to pull them apart to get rid of that gap and get them reupholstered. So these videos might be potentially a little bit out of order, as in you may have already watched the tank painting video before I've actually released the upholstery video. So all I have to do now is get a new piece of heat shaping plastic and reshape the front section of this seat so that it folds down and covers up that gap. And then once I've done that, I can cut off the old one, put in the new one, and then take it back to the upholsterer and get him to fix it all up for me. I really hope by me showing you my mistakes helps you with your build so that you can go on to make different mistakes and not the same ones that I make. <laughs> Quadlock is the strongest mounting system for your mobile phone and that makes them perfect for motorcycles. I've been using Quadlock products for many years and I absolutely love them. You can change between vertical and horizontal within a split second, giving you the ability to use maps and having a fully charged battery by the time you get to your destination. Quadlock have cable and wireless charging options depending on what you need and they even have a kickstand so you can watch your favorite YouTubers wherever you go. Be sure to use the link in the description so you can take advantage of the 10% discount that Cordlock has passed on to me to give to you.
After spending some time and effort fixing that gap, I'm really glad that I did. It did cost me a little bit more in the end because I had to reupholster the entire seat. However, the end result to me is absolutely worth it. So the piece of foam that I used uh, after carving it down perfectly, I just ran a little bit short on the ends. It won't probably matter once you cover it, but I just decided to uh, put another piece in there and glue it in. So now it's just a matter of repeating the process on the second seat. And for me, it took a little bit of time, but you'll probably see the whole process in less than 11 seconds. So thank you to Crumb and Trimmers as well as my friend Jam that works there and put these seats together for me. I couldn't be happier. If you want to see a few more upholstery videos on some motorcycle seats, I'll put a playlist right here.